The Uganda People's Defense Forces was the first to deploy troops in Somalia in 2007 under the African Union mission. The soldiers, the soldiers' mandate is to assist in consolidating and expanding the territory of the federal government of Somalia and provide technical support to the Somali National Army. The Horn of Africa nation was ungovernable due to attacks by the Al-Shabaab and other armed militia. There have been reports circulating on social media that the UPDF is considering withdrawing from Somalia. The army spokesperson Lieutenant Colonel Padankunda told NTV that the army has not yet taken that decision. I've been hearing this talk of UPDF withdrawing from Somalia. I don't know where it's coming from. What we are doing right now, we are conducting a review of our participation in that mission. We've been there for 10 years and I think it's proper that we assess our performance and then determine how we proceed with the mission if we have to. However, NTV has learned that a committee of the UPDF High Command, chaired by President Museven, is reviewing the mission. In reviewing the mission in Somalia, the High Command will be looking at what could be the impact if UPDF completely withdrew from Somalia and how will it affect the Somalians themselves and also the people who live beyond uh, Somalian borders, that is Uganda and other parts of East Africa, and what kind of message will it send to the Al-Shabaab militants who still plan and are doing their best to ensure that they carry out more attacks. The review comes on the heels of an announcement by the European Union of a 20% cut of its funding to the African Union mission in Somalia. Ugandan soldiers in Somalia earn about $828 monthly, which is equivalent to 2.7 million Ugandan shillings. But that is not affecting our morale at all. Our soldiers are still focused. They still get their full pay back home. The committee is expected to come up with resolutions in two weeks. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.